Welcome to today's episode. My name is Kea Franklin. Today with me is Muryuki Kiai. Karibu sana. Thank you so much, Kea. You um, look lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Had to look amazing for, for this episode. Of course. Thank you. So um, my name, as you said, is Muryuki Kiai. Mm -hmm. I am um, very versatile. I'll, I do so many things, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm here because I'm a breastfeeding, a certified breastfeeding consultant, um, as well as a sex coach mm -hmm. and podcaster, and also a marketing consultant for Muryoki K Consultants. Amazing. You yes. have so many titles. You're really versatile. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. You know, women, we have to wear mini hats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> now, let's get to this. How did you get so many titles? Um, I think it's interest. Mm -hmm. uh, as you grow older and as you're living life, uh, you end up having so many interests and niche. And you just, there are so many things that you want to do. So um, one is, let me talk about the marketing aspect. Mm -hmm. So I got into marketing uh, because I, I love marketing. I love telling a brand story. Mm -hmm. And I also work with data mm -hmm. when it comes in, in the marketing bit. Mm -hmm. So trying to transform that into marketing and just, there's so many people out here who don't market their brands well. Mm -hmm. So I, I found my interest in that mm -hmm. as I grew in my career. Mm -hmm. As for the sex coach bit, it's because I love sex, who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I felt a need to be the voice of women out here mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to sex because women are shamed for loving sex mm -hmm. and men are not. And mm -hmm. it's high time we mm -hmm. deconstruct that narrative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for the breastfeeding, as a breastfeeding consultant, I got into that because mm -hmm. I have um, my experience because mm -hmm. I'm a mom mm -hmm. to a seven year old wow. girl. Congratulations. Um, thank you. Mm -hmm. She's amazing, mm -hmm. and my struggles in breastfeeding mm -hmm. led me into that path. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. amazing. Now let's let's speak with with your first title. You are a sex coach. Yes. Who is a sex coach? <laughs> sex coaches are someone who helps people be comfortable in mm -hmm. their sexuality. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, you 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 guide people. You give them direction, mm -hmm. and you give them you give them tips mm -hmm. for them to be able to experience that mm -hmm. intimacy mm -hmm. with their partners. Amazing. How did you traverse the fact that this is something new, quote unquote? Mm -hmm. And uh, you, if you check the generations yeah. that have come a long way. The older generation, our parents, my parents specifically, <laughs> that uh, they, they, I can't say they know a sex coach as much, but how did you transition and decide to be a sex coach? Wow. Aish, mm. are you ready for stories? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, mm -hmm. I, um, I used to work in this job. You know, I've been asked this question mm -hmm. many times. Mm -hmm. And uh, one sex when someone hears of a sex coach, they think of this scandalous yes. uh, job, you know, mm -hmm. this scandalous person. Mm -hmm. And I used to work in this particular job mm -hmm. where we used to. Uh, so huh, let's let's go back in mm -hmm. Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, sex work mm -hmm. is legal. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. They, are, they have these sites mm -hmm. where you can go and try to get an escort or a sex worker mm -hmm. for your pleasure. Mm -hmm. And now I used to work in this job in Kenya that was, this company was outsourced to, to, to manage those accounts. Mm -hmm. So we will check every single day uh, if someone is posting, mm -hmm. are, are they following the right things? Are they, are they following the right guidelines? Because every state they have i think five states mm -hmm. and every state has different mm -hmm. uh has has different guidelines mm -hmm. so we used to check on that and no you have to go google mm -hmm. some of these things mm -hmm. <laughs> and as i'm googling you're learning things mm -hmm. and i will go back home to my husband and we like uh babe mm -hmm. i learned something new mm -hmm. <laughs> let's, mm -hmm. let's try it out wow <laughs> and now that's how 
I got into the interest of it. I I would say growing up, I had I had interest. I'm gonna do this. Any nini parents are talking about all the time. Yeah, and we were shamed for it. So uh that the shaming bit of it and getting into an age where i fully understand mm -hmm. what sex is mm -hmm. and uh fully you know like accepting it mm -hmm. and accepting what pleasure is for mm -hmm. what it is mm -hmm. then that's that's what born uh sex coaching me wow yeah An that amazing was the detailed story. Mm -hmm. yes so from your work is how you you decided to be a sex coach. Uh the the, the interest earlier on, I would say the work was just that spark that Kaspark had air that to ignited. ignited yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, what are some of the biggest misconceptions and stigmas that you've encountered in your work? As a sex coach, yes, women are not supposed to enjoy sex. Mm -hmm. Um, women are not supposed to. To, to, to love sex women actually mm -hmm. do not enjoy pleasure mm -hmm. uh that's i would say that's the biggest the biggest for me mm -hmm. uh if you sit down with a man right now mm -hmm. and talk about sex mm -hmm. with him he will tell you that sex for him just means um penetration oh. mm -hmm. of their manhood mm -hmm. it doesn't mean anything like anything such as foreplay to them that's not that's that's not sex for them mm -hmm. and that you will find so many people in their marriages who are so unhappy mm -hmm. because of that mm -hmm. because their husbands do not understand mm -hmm. that pleasure is very paramount mm -hmm. it's the most important mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. when it comes to sex with your partner mm -hmm. so that is the the, the biggest misconception that I've come across as, as a sex coach. You've specifically stated that your audience, your major audience are the ladies, the women. Uh, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Surprisingly, mm -hmm. <laughs> my most of my audience is men. Men. Wow. I have I have a week. So most mm -hmm. of the 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 gender that follows me mostly on Instagram is men. Men, yes. But I have a listen cheap to mm. on, on my spotify and mm. other platforms mm. who are ladies so i would say it's a mix but surprisingly mm. i i i think i speak my, men men can easily relate i don't know how mm -hmm. but but i think it's because they want to get tips mm -hmm. from me mm -hmm. so that they can go practice them try them with their wives mm. and partners and mm -hmm. just see does this work mm -hmm. let me go pick little tips from this lady and see what am I doing wrong as a man. Mm. I, I think so. Uh, I'm curious, since you, you, you stating your followership is men, they're from masculine people, mm, men, yeah. and how do the ladies really perceive you? What picture do they perceive of you? Because I can imagine <laughs> uh, I am following you, I'm yes. coming to you, for advice yeah. and let me put myself in a, a lady's shoes let, let me be a lady for now mm -hmm. uh okay my husband is going going to another chick mm -hmm. for tips oh. what is this that she, he can't <laughs> ask me <laughs> how do you go about that first of all have you ever heard of the madonna effect no let me explain to you uh what the madonna effect. i don't know if any of the uh, viewers here know what the Madonna effect is, mm -hmm. and then you will understand. Mm -hmm. uh, so the Madonna effect is there are two ladies. Mm -hmm. There is the wife, mm -hmm. marriage material, wife material. She's she's everything mm -hmm. that a man a man wants, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. And one thing I've come to learn is that men do not marry because of love. They marry because it's the right time for them to marry. Mm -hmm. So they marry whoever is there. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So there's this lady. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, 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 this is the mother of his... He wants this woman to be the mother of his kids. Mm -hmm. He respects her. Mm -hmm. And then there's this other lady over here mm -hmm. who loves sex, mm -hmm. who has been shamed for sex, mm -hmm. and is very open with their, and comfortable with their sexuality, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So, this man who's in the middle uh, has certain fantasies mm -hmm. or he would like to experience, he's also open sexually, 
uh, and very comfortable with his sexuality. Mm. But he thinks that whatever uh, a kind of sex is going to have his, with his with his wife mm -hmm. is going to disrespect this woman. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so he feels like, but he won't get satisfied because this woman because he's not he's not exploring his sexuality with her mm -hmm. so he will go look for this other woman mm -hmm. who's comfortable with her sexuality mm -hmm. and he will go have sex with this woman mm -hmm. and then at the end of the day he's going to shame this woman <laughs> for loving sex mm -hmm. and having pleasure mm -hmm. and enjoying and enjoying sex so uh with the madonna effect mm -hmm. uh you can see that this man does not want to exploit sexuality with this woman mm -hmm. because he feels like he's going to disrespect her. Interesting. Mm -hmm. That's why they, there's so much shame when it comes to sex. Mm -hmm. So he will go to another woman for tips. Have for I answered tips. you? Yes, really. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, I, I'd love to know of the couples that mm -hmm. have approached you. Yeah. Um, you, you might find, uh, I, I'm assuming that couples that have been married for the longest time. Yeah. Of course, we stereotype that they are good. They understand matters intimacy. Have you, in your field of work, encountered couples that have been married for the longest time? And give us a general view on, on couples, on how they approach you. Um, so you'll probably find that one one of them will just reach out with a question mm -hmm. um, and then um, as I talk to them and just try to understand I will get a few mm -hmm. a few a few points of the and ideas of, of what of the idea of what the troubles that they are facing in their sexuality in their marriage mm -hmm. or in their sex life sorry so what usually happens is one partner will reach out mm -hmm. and then uh, they will go talk to the other partner. I've mm -hmm. had partners, couples, who listen to my podcast together. Wow. Or they recommend. Mm -hmm. um, so mostly, uh, the, the challenges I've seen facing older couples, mm -hmm. I because I was one, I was married for, for eight years mm -hmm. and then we separated, is that it dies. Mm -hmm. The intimacy dies. The spark. The spark dies. Mm -hmm. And that's because people think that intimacy is only in the bedroom, mm. but it's not. Mm -hmm. And I talk about that a lot on my podcast, Climax, which you know that at the, at the at the end of the day, there are ways to 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 spark this this fire and to just have intimacy out there, the, outside the bedroom. Because mm -hmm. what usually happens with uh, couples, and the reason why this uh, spark dies and why the intimacy dies, one because men men. I have a problem with men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have not. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let they, me feel attacked. <laughs> please don't feel attacked. Mm -hmm. But men have not. We, society has failed men when it comes to sex because men think that intimacy is only in the bedroom. We do not have romantic men. Oh my God, I come from the Kikuyu land. Mm -hmm. I can attest. <laughs> <laughs> It, you see those flowers you buy your mm -hmm. girlfriend mm -hmm. or your partner? Mm -hmm. That's his intimacy, the date nights. The date nights. Mm -hmm. But men just think that, oh, the sex is the mm -hmm. intimacy. Mm -hmm. That's it. And ah, she'll be okay. See, me, I'm okay. So it's mm -hmm. just it's just sex. Mm -hmm. Eh, why, why are you stressing me? We mm -hmm. want sex. Mm -hmm. And sex, we get and we are done. Story Naisha, things are done. And we keep on moving. Go home, go happy. Go home, go happy, and that's where we go. We go wrong because mm -hmm. intimacy starts in the outside, mm -hmm. outside the bedroom. Take your woman for dates. Mm -hmm. Take have have that one ka, 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 ka night in the in the month. Mm -hmm. If you're well off, please do it every week or at least twice a month. Mm -hmm. Uh, even as somewhere even. At, Stanford, Stanford, mm -hmm. it's so affordable <laughs> Stanford, for, wow. mm -hmm. for guys who can't afford a, mm -hmm. a dish. And we have so many restaurants which are popping up, mm -hmm. like a dinner of food, a, a nice food plate, amazing meal mm -hmm. is like 1,500 mm -hmm. plus drinks. Mm -hmm. Take your woman uh, for these dates. Mm -hmm. Send your woman a text mm -hmm. and vice versa. Send your partner a text. If you're a woman, send your partner a text and mm -hmm. just tell him. 
hey babe, I can't wait to see you at night. You know, mm. just, mm. just steam it up. Steam it up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and your partner will be so excited and the intimacy will be alive. Will be alive, wow. Sit down, talk about books, do things that you love to, mm. that you will enjoy together, together, that you love doing together. Mm. That's how you build the intimacy. Mm. So what happens with old couples is that older couples or couple people who've been married for a long, for time, a long time is that yeah. mm -hmm. we get into a routine mm -hmm. of uh, we've gotten married, immediately we get kids. Mm -hmm. So we do not have that window mm -hmm. to enjoy travel, mm -hmm. have fun, mm -hmm. have lots of sex mm -hmm. as much as we want. Mm -hmm. So we get children, mm -hmm. we have work, mm -hmm. We have to take care of the kids. Mm -hmm. Already, when a child comes into marriage, marriage mm -hmm. things change. Things change. Mm -hmm. And and people need to understand that when a child comes into marriage, things change. A hundred percent. The sex life will change. Your hormones will change as a woman. Mm -hmm. So you'll always be snapping. Mm -hmm. Your husband will not understand why you're in a fall mood. Mm -hmm. So your child comes, that happens. The mm -hmm. moods, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. Uh, the woman is struggling with postnatal depression, mm -hmm. or if they have help, they will they will struggle because childcare is left to the Mother. woman mm -hmm. society mm -hmm. again. Uh, and then now we get into work. Mm -hmm. So what do you usually do when you go home? Mm -hmm. When you go to work and come back home, are uh, you you go to you wake up, mm -hmm. say goodbye, kiss each other goodbye. Mm -hmm. Couples who go to work together, they are so lucky. Wow. I used to do that. Mm -hmm. I made it my my point that I would go to work with my husband. Mm -hmm. He would drop me off somewhere, mm -hmm. he would go to work and I would proceed. But at least that, that time. Mm -hmm. So for so most of the time is you kiss each other goodbye, everyone goes their separate ways, mm -hmm. you don't wave in together, you don't have breakfast together because you're, you're in a hurry. Mm -hmm. And you're both coming back home mm -hmm. from different locations mm -hmm. and there's traffic. Mm -hmm. So you will arrive home at different times. Tired. Tired. Mm -hmm. You won't have probably dinner together. Mm -hmm. You'll get to bed tired. Mm -hmm. So the sex will feel like a routine. Okay. Okay. And life becomes routine. Okay. And your intimacy dies. Okay. Yeah. I, I love the fact that you've analyzed all these oh, aspects. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Really, I, I, I must admit, indeed, you're a sex coach. Oh, well. <laughs> Now, uh, December 1st is World AIDS Day. Yeah. I want to know your take and how you would go about with patients living with HIV AIDS in matters of intimacy. Specifically, how would you approach or advise a, a patient living with the virus on matters of intimacy since you're a coach? Um, keep your CD levels, counts low. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's very easy to have your to to have unprotected sex with if you have if you're married mm -hmm. please if you if you're if you're hiv positive mm -hmm. please don't go have real sex with with people who are not your 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 if you're not married you're not to them. yes please because at the at, <laughs> You can well. It's it's very easy to you. It, it's it's possible for mm -hmm. someone living with HIV mm -hmm. uh, to have uh, to enjoy sex. They can enjoy raw sex as long as their uh, CD counts are, are low. That's mm -hmm. very possible. Mm -hmm. But they can also do that with uh, protection, protection. with the use of condoms. Mm -hmm. So they can still enjoy pleasure and enjoy sex. Mm -hmm. It's. Mm -hmm. I, I don't. I, there is so much stigma around people living with HIV, HIV. Yeah. Yeah. and we need to, we need to kill that. We need to kill that. We need, we need to kill that. Mm -hmm. We need to stop that stigma. Mm -hmm. People think that an HIV person can only have sex and be intimate or be in a relationship with someone else who is living with HIV. The same condition. But it's not. That's not the case. If that's not the case. Mm -hmm. As long as you're taking your meds, mm -hmm. as long as you communicate to your partner, mm -hmm. it is very it's very easy to to enjoy sex just like mm -hmm. people who are HIV negative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we need we need to to stop that. Now, coach, uh, let me give you a scenario. Yeah, I I have a partner. Mm -hmm. I am HIV positive. Yes, I've tested positive for the virus. Yeah, my partner mm -hmm. is negative. Yeah, we want to get intimate. Yes, how do we go about it? 
use use protection mm-hmm. use protection mm-hmm. uh also there is there are people you are using is it called prep yes prep. yes mm-hmm. you can use you can use prep but it's not advisable mm-hmm. uh, just like everything else there is hormonal uh imbalance, imbalance. Mm-hmm. yeah so it's you can you can still enjoy sex by i would say the best way to enjoy sex is use protection use protection. condoms mm-hmm. there are uh there are we have different kinds of of, of condoms mm-hmm. we have one like skin mm-hmm. which is not made from latex because there are people who are uh, affected, by affected by latex mm-hmm. yeah they are allergic to latex and now we also have latex and skin gives the best mm-hmm. <laughs> pleasure because mm-hmm. you feel as if it's raw mm-hmm. yeah i hope the audience is understanding what true yeah. is mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah so it's very it's possible to still enjoy um your to to enjoy sex and intimacy with your partner mm-hmm. uh if one is hiv positive and another one is hiv negative interesting interesting now uh coach tomatoes breastfeeding you are a certified breastfeeding consultant yes so that's a thing that's a thing. <laughs> guys that is a thing <laughs> you know there's so much there's so much information that is not out there but i'm glad that you stand in those shoes and now would love i'd love you to elaborate and start with what is a certified breastfeeding consultant who are you okay so my other passion yes <laughs> um a certified breastfeeding lactation consultant is uh, someone who is able to support moms in their breastfeeding journey mm-hmm. or more or less families mm-hmm. in their breastfeeding journey because mm-hmm. breastfeeding is not only for the mother mm-hmm. it is a community, community i keep thing. saying that mm-hmm. it's a community thing mm-hmm. so i do support uh families mm-hmm. uh who in their breastfeeding journeys whoever is having any challenges i'm there to help them mm-hmm. breastfeeding is not just about placing the baby here mm-hmm. and you think at he, oh now she's gonna breastfeed mm-hmm. there is so much mm-hmm. that that goes on with breastfeeding a child has to latch mm-hmm. uh, what is latching holding of the nipple holding of the nipple yes holding of the nipple mm-hmm. a baby has to be able to hold the nipple well mm-hmm. in order to suckle mm-hmm. and get that milk out mm-hmm. if they are not able to it's a very big problem mm-hmm. that could become a health hazard for the mom and also for the baby because the baby is going to end up uh stopped mm-hmm. yes so that is what latching is. is yeah so uh you have to you it's people think that a child yes a child will know how to latch yes but they do not latch way they do not latch well. you have to guide them uh, there's a way you hold your baby mm-hmm. there's a way you hold your breasts mm-hmm. uh, in order to help your child to latch better because if your child doesn't latch well as i said there will be issues mm-hmm. uh, you'll have mastitis mm-hmm. uh, where your 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 ducts become clogged mm-hmm. and if they become clogged mm-hmm. you'll have an infection mm-hmm. you can easily get your breast cut or oh. yeah if it gets too infected Oh, that's very, gruesome, yeah. very informative now uh you, you run you run the breastfeeding hub yes how did you come about with breastfeeding hub and tell me more about it are you ready for a story yes <laughs> <laughs> so as i said i'm a mom of one seven years i'm a very using girl shout mm-hmm. out to her she's called amara shout out to amara shout out to amara eh when i found out i was pregnant mm-hmm. i wanted to breastfeed for six months exclusively mm-hmm. i did not know that um there was a, there was a whole it's, it's a whole thing we just hear that it's good to breastfeed kids mm-hmm. for six months mm-hmm. you don't know why mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. so i was like okay now i want to be that parent mm-hmm. who breastfeeds their kids for six months mm-hmm. exclusive mm-hmm. um so i i got my baby mm-hmm. They did not teach me anything about breastfeeding. Mm-hmm. I, I just like other moms out here. I am sure there are there are moms out here who are watching one like mm-hmm. a mother breastfeeding. You just put your baby here. We don't know the integrities of breastfeeding. Mm-hmm. 
So I was that mom, very clueless about breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. So I knew I'll just place my baby on the boob mm -hmm. uh, and that's okay. See, she's suckling. Mm -hmm. See, her mouth is there at the tip of the, of, of, of the, mm -hmm. at the, at the, yeah. And she was, I, I was like, okay, so she's, she's breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. Two weeks later, mm -hmm. I don't have milk. Mm -hmm. You're so, when you are, when you're, when you're two weeks mm -hmm. after, when you're two weeks postpartum, mm -hmm. You must have milk. That's the time when you have so much milk. Your body is trying to regulate how much milk it should make mm. because of how much the baby is breastfeeding on a daily basis. Mm. So the fact that I do not have milk simply means that my baby has not been breastfeeding. My, mm. my body is not making any milk mm. because my baby did not latch well. Mm. But I did not know all this. I got to know it later after six months. Mm. And the re no, because I don't have milk, my mm. baby would cry all the time. Mm. And it would really upset me. Mm. So I got into postpartum depression. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't want, you, it is bad. Mm -hmm. It is, it is very crazy. Mm -hmm. And it's a mental condition mm -hmm. for moms. Mm -hmm. And there are so many moms who are going through it. Mm -hmm. And it comes about because of breastfeeding as well as other factors. Mm -hmm. So for me, the reason why I got into postpartum depression was because uh, I'm thinking my baby is crying all the time. So I'm wondering what's wrong. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be with that baby who's crying 24 seven. Okay. It's very stressful emotionally, mentally, and physically draining. Mm -hmm. So my baby is crying all the time. I don't have milk. Mm -hmm. She's starving. I don't know this. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm just, I'm just me, I'm, You're clueless. I'm clueless. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm stressed. Mm -hmm. Uh, my partner is going through it as well because mm -hmm. he was really young. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a child when we were, we, we were young, and he he's also going through his 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 side of the of of, of postpartum mm -hmm. depression because men also go through We're that. Sure. Uh, so it was a struggle, mm -hmm. but we made it to six months. I remember one time. Uh, actually, before when I was when I was pregnant, my auntie kept saying. But you, Rome, I want you to come to Shags so that I can help you with this child. Mm -hmm. If I had listened, I wouldn't have gone through all that. But then again, I wouldn't be here. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so mm -hmm. she, she, I did, I didn't go to Shags. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. as in this African community, yeah. you know, when a homestead has a child, because they are always visitors mm -hmm. and they are mostly women, mm -hmm. and they are there to support this new mom yeah. in her journey. Yeah. But times have changed, things mm -hmm. have changed, everyone is so busy, mm -hmm. and my mom is the late, so I did not have a mother presence mm -hmm. to help me and guide me with this. Mm -hmm. I remember one time my baby choked. Oh. I did not know what to do. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Mm -hmm my uh, husband then mm. was there mm. and he helped me with her and mm. I cried and was like I want to go to Shags, I want to go to Shags, I can't mm. do this alone mm. so it was just me and him mm. so we survived mm -hmm. it was a lot of stress my baby would cry mm. uh, I would place her at the far end of the bed and I would sit at the edge of the bed mm. and I would cry you also dealing with postpartum, postpartum depression. depression at the time yes mm -hmm. So my baby is crying, I'm crying, we are crying together. Mm. She's starving. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm stressed. Mm -hmm. I don't have help. No milk? No milk at all. Mm -hmm. My boobs are saggy. Mm -hmm. a, a boob that has, uh, a breast that has milk mm -hmm. is, is very enlarged because mm -hmm. of the amount of milk that it has. Mm -hmm. But I don't have anything. Mm -hmm. At some point, I even tried to express mm -hmm. nothing was coming out of there nothing but air and my baby was crying at some point i had to resort to give her water water okay i know someone would ask why not give none do you know mm -hmm. the price of none mm -hmm. it is so expensive Pensive. so you are not uh, financially able to no. able to that. No, I mm -hmm. forgot to mention that I got let go of my job when I was two weeks to giving birth. Mm -hmm. I was nine months. Mm -hmm. So I've That's lost true. my job. Mm -hmm. uh, my spouse had then had just gotten his job. Mm -hmm. So we are, we are, after, we are a young couple mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. living in Pangani, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you, you had just started. We had just thing. started mm -hmm. living in Pangani, Nabetsita. Mm -hmm. We can't, we 
can't afford none. None mm-hmm. is going for let's say 1,800. Mm-hmm. They can easily do this. I also um, a consult for mm-hmm. companies mm-hmm. who have mother rooms. Mm-hmm. So there was a big win for us that mm-hmm. happened. Mm-hmm. Um, Tell us about it. <laughs> there was a big win for, for us mothers mm-hmm. that happened in this country. Mm-hmm. There is a breastfeeding bill that was passed. Yeah. And I was really happy about it mm. uh, because now every company, I hope parents have that room. <laughs> yeah. So every mm. every company has mm. has to mm. have a mother's room. Yes. It's basically a breastfeeding room, room. for moms mm-hmm. where they can easily go and express. You know, like it's about parents, moms used to go to the loo to to bread to to express and mm. it's not sanitary mm. and they don't have anywhere to store their milk mm. so it's it should be a nice warm quiet quiet mm. serene place mm. where a woman can a man can get into her into her zone and her zen mm-hmm. and just be able to express so mm-hmm. yeah so i usually work with companies as well to as to consult and how to on how to, to mm-hmm. cater for that mm-hmm. yes so mm. I hope I've answered your question. You really answered my question. <laughs> now, uh, as we progress, uh, what is the one thing you wish that you knew back then, before you started the breastfeeding journey, or as you were breastfeeding? That is your daughter. I wish, I wish I knew the challenges of breastfeeding and mm-hmm. having a child before I got her. Mm-hmm. I love her to death, but mm-hmm. that would have isn't I what for me mm-hmm. i didn't know postpartum depression mm-hmm. even if you go to my to my um to my page mm-hmm. my motto is mm-hmm. a healthy mom a happy mom equals a healthy baby a mom has to be in her right mental mm-hmm. space mm-hmm. in order to be able to breastfeed mm-hmm. for us breastfeeding is ecological there's mm-hmm. nothing you're going to come and tell me see i'm supposed to eat nini, 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 nini. Mm-hmm. no mm-hmm. i need to make sure yes there are foods that can can help mm-hmm. to boost mm-hmm. not to get mm-hmm. to boost keyword to, mm-hmm. to boost the breast milk supply mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, mm-hmm. you have to be in your mental space. And I wish I knew that mm-hmm. because the reason why I did not have milk was because of the postpartum depression. Mm-hmm. I wish, I, I, I really wish I had this in on my fingertips mm-hmm. and I knew ways to curb it. Mm-hmm. I wish when I was in hospital, mm-hmm. I would have been taught how to, how to, to get my child to latch. To latch, yeah. I wish I would have been taught mm-hmm. how to hold my child mm-hmm. as they are breastfeeding mm-hmm. because there is a way you have to hold your child. Mm-hmm. I wish I wish my partner was supporting. Mm. Wow. On on matters partners, what is the role of men during breastfeeding? Support. Mm-hmm. That's it. Support, understand. Mm-hmm. When she when she wakes up mm-hmm. to breastfeed. Mm-hmm. And you hear she's struggling here and there. Mm. Please wake up. Mm-hmm. Please tell her mm-hmm. you've expressed your milk mm-hmm. at night, mm-hmm. or have you? You've you've breastfed. Mm-hmm. You're tired. Mm-hmm. Please go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Let me warm this milk. Mm-hmm. Mark you not not now. I do not support. I do not support that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. But mm-hmm. uh, she's for for. I'm talking about a, a, someone who's living in um, a, someone who's a bit well off, a bit well middle yeah. class. Mm-hmm. So you say, hey babe, can I, let me get some, this milk mm-hmm. and, and warm it. So you warm it and uh, some, you place it in some nice hot bowl of water mm-hmm. and you breastfeed your child. Mm-hmm. If you come home and that child is crying, please don't put your feet up the table or mm-hmm. your chair and you're there with the remote watching. Mm-hmm. Please take that child. Mm-hmm. And help this one because these kids get fussy. There is mm-hmm. a face where children get fussy. Mm-hmm. And it's it's just because their bodies are adjusting and they are wondering, guys, yeah, what, what is this? What's mm-hmm. going on? Mm-hmm. So, do you feel that uh, men need to have uh, literacy on matters of breastfeeding? Yes, mm-hmm. yes, they do. Why it, so? Oh, mm-hmm. the number of times I tell men, mm-hmm. women would understand mm-hmm. when you tell them that I'm a breastfeeding consultant. Mm-hmm. But the moment I I tell men that. I'm a breastfeeding consultant and like, what mm-hmm. is that? I'm sure even some of you here were like, 
<laughs> what yeah. what is this mm-hmm. woman talking about? You mm-hmm. mean breastfeeding? Mm-hmm. Uh yeah, so they they need they need they, they need mm-hmm. to be educated on mm-hmm. on breastfeeding. Mm-hmm. Accompany your your wife to Lama's classes. Mm-hmm. KNH offers mm-hmm. those classes as well. Mm-hmm. Most of the time you'll go there and you'll just find the women. Mm-hmm. Ah even, let's not go far. Mm-hmm. When I'm doing consultations, mm-hmm. the husband is never there. The husband is never there. He's never there. Mm-hmm. It's always the wife. Mm-hmm. I need the husband there as well. Mm-hmm. I think I'll even make it a requirement. Mm-hmm. Because the husband needs to understand what this woman is going through psychologically because she thinks she doesn't have no. Mm. And you need to know ways in which not to stress your wife. Mm. Because the moment you stress her milk cuts, mm. she he needs to understand that when the baby is crying, sometimes Seati, they want to just breastfeed. They're mm. just being fussy, especially when they are young, before three months, mm. like when they are two weeks, six weeks, mm. they get very fussy. Mm. So please understand that. When your daughter, when your child, your your son or your daughter is crying, mm-hmm. don't take the child to the mother. Tishika mtoto na tuka kunyonya. Alafu she will say kaya mshinda kunyonya. It's called cluster feeding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and when they are always there on the boob mm-hmm. because of that, when they are fussy, that fussy instead. They're not mm-hmm. constantly a cluster feeding. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they're just there. They just want to feel the mom. Mm-hmm. So it's very important for a husband to know that mtoto akileto that they want to breastfeed. Go take that child mm. take that child for a walk mm. leave that woman alone mm-hmm. and let her at least take a bath mm-hmm. the number of women that do not take a bath because they're breastfeeding wow that's it as in it's that that's it, it's that intense it's that intense because mm-hmm. your child is currently crying mm-hmm. you haven't shared you mm-hmm. haven't even gotten a chance mm-hmm. to take some water mm-hmm. and drink Mm-hmm. And this water is what is going to help you boost your milk supply. Mm-hmm. What of the single mothers, since uh, you've stated that uh, men not really uh, support uh, the, their wives, what of the single mothers? What is their role? How do they go about while they're breastfeeding? Now that's where the community comes in. Mm-hmm. One man is an island. Mm-hmm. You, you can't be an island. Mm-hmm. No man should be an island. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's where your friends come in. That's where your family comes in. Mm-hmm. I know there are situations. Mm-hmm. I'll use myself as an example, mm-hmm. where I had a spouse, but he wasn't really there. So I was there. You know, there are women who are single in their in their marriage, mm-hmm. as mm-hmm. they are single moms okay. in their marriage. Mm-hmm. It's a term nowadays. I see it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he wasn't there. I did mm-hmm. not have support. So mm-hmm. I would say that friends. Are, play a big role. I did not have them. Mm-hmm. So I struggled. You can't be there alone as a single mom expecting to be okay. Mm-hmm. At the, oh, I'm just going to breast, you know. Mm-hmm. You know. Please ask for help. Mm-hmm. People, it's very important to mm-hmm. ask for help. Mm-hmm. Call your friend. Mm-hmm. Please, can you come for a minute hold the baby so that I can at least shower and have a meal? Mm-hmm. Because you're, you're going to go crazy. Mm-hmm. Do you know there are women who go crazy, legit, mm-hmm. from postpartum depression? Mm-hmm. There's a woman who, it was a very bad scene. Mm-hmm. She slaughtered her child. She killed oh. her child. I think they, it was in the news. Did, mm-hmm. you, did you guys see it? Mm-hmm. That woman was going through postpartum depression. Mm-hmm. And I saw some people saying, as he. And but now she becomes the bad cop? Now she becomes the bad cop. Mm-hmm. But this woman needed help from the one. Okay. Yeah. So learn to ask. Learn to ask for help. Learn to ask for help. Yeah. Uh, how does your farm, the breastfeeding hub, approach to mothers living with the HIV virus? We support them. We mm-hmm. do. Just showing them ways in which you can breastfeed. You can breast. You see them smiling. Mm-hmm. It's because it's very possible to mm-hmm. breastfeed your child when you're living with HIV. Without transmitting it to Without, the baby? Without, yes. Mm-hmm. You're given drugs when you're pregnant mm-hmm. that will help to prevent mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. And you have to make sure that you're taking your medicine the way you're supposed to. If you don't take your medicine, you're risking your child's life. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, there, are, there are drugs that you're going to be that you're that you're taking, mm-hmm. and also when you deliver your child, mm-hmm. there's also medication that you're given mm-hmm. uh, to that will help to mm-hmm. uh, 
reduce the chances mm -hmm. of transmitting actually to zero mm -hmm. uh, of transmitting the virus to your child mm -hmm. so you can easily exclusively breastfeed please if there's anyone living with hiv mm -hmm. and you do not know how to go about it mm -hmm. please visit us or visit your doctor mm -hmm. like, we i'm telling you right now mm -hmm. we are at the forefront of exclusively breastfeeding regardless of the situation mm -hmm. mm. And they 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 won't start. Mm -hmm. really and how is the breastfeeding hub hand, handling young mothers? Uh, we are working with such partners such as Gladys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And An amazing interview. I, I love I love working with. <laughs> 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 amazing, uh, amazing, uh, really. Um, that is Muriuki <laughs> Kiai. <laughs> she has amazing insights on matters of breastfeeding. She is a certified breastfeeding consultant, a sex coach, a moderator, and a marketing consultant. She'll be telling us, or she has been talking to us about uh, matters of breastfeeding, rather, and uh, all about intimacy. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And before we Shall we? <laughs> okay. And before we uh, we sign out, any last words, Madame Moriki? Parting shot. Parting shot. <laughs> please, please, moms. Everyone, one. We say in this African community that we are in that mtoto si wa mtumoja. A child belongs to the community. Mm. So please, community, family, mm -hmm. husbands. Partners, friends, support moms who are breastfeeding. Be at the forefront that we are at of making sure that moms breastfeed for six months and exclusively breastfeed. Mm -hmm. Please understand that breastfeeding is very psychological and these moms need your support. These babies need your support. So let's be at the forefront of pushing this sustainable development goals of 2030. Mm -hmm. And please follow me on the Breastfeeding Hub on Instagram. If any of you has any challenges mm -hmm. pertaining breastfeeding, if you want any masterclass pertaining breastfeeding, uh, a prenatal, reach out to me. I'm always happy to work with moms. I just I love working with moms. Can tell them where moms. your offices are located. Uh, right now we do not have offices, mm -hmm. so I come to you mm -hmm. at the comfort of your home. Mm -hmm. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but soon we will open a clinic. It's mm -hmm. something that mm -hmm. I, I really am planning on doing. Yeah, on. Okay. yeah. And if you, anyone who wants to partner. I'm, I'm available. You're available. Yes, thank you so much. There you have it. That uh, that has been uh, Muriuki um, Kiai. She's a certified breastfeeding consultant, a sex coach, a moderator, and a marketing consultant. See you when you see me. I'm K U I A.